In today's video, we are going to be repairing an Acer Aspire 7739. We will be replacing the keyboard as it has missing keys. Additionally, the battery will be replaced as it's no longer holding charge. Let's fix it. As you can see here is uh, one key missing, here is another one, and the arrow selection key, the one is deformed. So we're going to take off first the battery from the computer by sliding the locks and sliding the battery out. But first, let's take a look into the components compartment to see if it requires cleanup. And we will do that with a Phillips screwdriver number zero to remove the two screws that are holding the back cover. As we can see, this requires no cleaning, so we can close it down. But before we do, I would like to know that there are no icons on any of the holes that are for the screws. Normally, when, when a keyboard is held by screws or a screw, there is going to be a very small imprint in the plastic indicating that any particular screw is holding down a keyboard. But this one in particular is a different one and is held by latches. So let's flip the computer right up and I can show you what I mean. Let's replace the back cover up and proceed with the replacement of the keyboard. As seen here, the keyboard has been held by latches on the palm rest cover and the speaker cover. What we need to do is push the latches up so they release the keyboard. On this model, there are six on top and two on the sides. We will carefully press the latches to start the removal of the keyboard, being careful that these latches are made out of some metal and a plastic, so they are easy to break up. As shown here, by pressing the latches, the keyboard will start to rise up on its own.
Once the keyboard is released, what I like to do is slowly move the keyboard toward the screen to locate the connector. That way we prevent damage to the connector or flex cable, which has happened. When we find the connector, we lift the black portion of the connector to unlock the flex cable and pull it out. And that's it, that's the process to remove the keyboard. But we are not done yet. Now it's a good time to clean the area where the keyboard sits, since it collects dust around the corners from the vacuum effect of the cooling fan. I am using an old toothbrush to remove most of the dust and then a microfiber cloth to complete the cleanup. Now that the area is cleaned, we take our keyboard and place it upside down to install the flex cable into the connector. The flex cable has two lines in a blue chap that helps in aligning into the connector. In this case, the first line is the one we need to align straight in the connector for it to lock and make proper contact. Also, the blue tab serves another purpose. Beside it being a reinforcement for the flex cable, it is also useful to push the cable in. After the flex cable is inserted in the connector, make sure to lock the connector tab to prevent the flex cable from coming out. Then, we flip the keyboard and align it with the bottom part of the palm rest first. Once done that, lay it flat and just press on the top corners and side corners to engage the latches. And officially, the keyboard has been replaced. Now it looks good, we have added life to it, so what's left of it is to install the new battery and test the computer. This is basically what it takes to replace an Acer Aspire 7739Z keyboard and battery. Hope this has been helpful or at least interesting. If you have enjoyed this video, leave a comment, and if you want to see more like it, stay tuned for more. Until next time.